a sibling loss as far as a brother or sister, but I know what it feels like. It sucks no matter, it doesn't matter if it's a grandpa or a grandma or mother or father. When you lose somebody, it hurts, you know. And I've been to this cycle too many times with, with other friends that I've uh, lost to due to suicide and all that stuff. Yes, believe it or not, there's a few friends that I've had that uh, committed suicide. Stuff I never really talked about, you know, because I, I did, it's, it was tough for me to talk about things like that. Because I, you know, I never thought I'd ever have to even experience stuff like that, you know. Uh, that's why I always say life is worth living no matter how you look at it. Because suicide to me, no matter what, is never the answer. But to the two people that uh, passed away because of that, you know, it was just tough because it, because they had demons and, and they could never control, you know. My life, you know, right now is at a point where all I want is just to know that I have security, financial security, so I don't have to worry about anything. I want to know that I can actually provide for myself and my family while I'm living with them instead of being a moocher, instead of being a freeloader. I, even though I am helping them out, but, you know, I just want to make sure that I that I have some type of security. That's why I hope to hear back from these two jobs here, and maybe the next time I do a video or, or after the first, especially I'll know, for at least one of them anyway. Um, hopefully everything will work out because I need something. I can't live for not for you know for free. You know, I can't you know I can't live for nothing. You know. I mean, I, if I could get the appeal and all that stuff, win that, that'd be great. Then I'd be set for a good year at least. Plus, I get back pay for for the months that, for the times that I haven't got anything yet. But uh, but anyway, for right now, we're just we're just waiting, just waiting. You know, I got was able to to rent some uh, rent the whole uh, Harry Potter series that I found or that. Uh, you know, somebody, a local video store here has all the whole Harry Potter series. Well, up to number six, anyway. So I, I'm going to be watching that all weekend. All six Harry Potter movies. I think that'll keep me occupied all weekend long, I think. So I got stuff to keep me occupied, whatever. Just for right now, just kind of tough to... Oh, and I found out something, too, for all you Shaytard fans. Now, I know I probably shouldn't be... I should be saying this because this is not really... I mean, I should be giving out, I'm not going to give out their address or whatever, but I've always been kind of curious of where it was that they lived, where Shea Carl and his family actually live. And, and I recently found out, uh, I was in a blog TV talk with uh, Carl Onslaught, and, uh, or, Lins or Carl Onslaught of the uh, channel The Fam Damley. Uh, you reverse that, you're, you get damn family. <laughs> they seem like really nice people and whatnot. I, uh, was able to talk to him a little bit, or just chat with him on, on type-wise, anyway, I never actually got to voice with him, but it's easy, easy to get a chance to talk to them because they're not nearly as big as Shaytards, but they, they, they are, they're, they're, the reason why they are as popular as they are now is because of the Shaytards, but they're, they're pretty, they're, they're, their family is just kind of like very similar to Shaytards, and I'm going to start watching some of their videos more often now, just like I do with the Shaytards, but I found out well, they actually said where it was that they live in Idaho, and it's a, it's a small town, probably about the size of either Thief River Falls or Bemidji. It's a town called po Pocatello or Pocatello, Idaho, and it's a small little town. I don't know if any of you guys live close to Idaho. I found out if I were to go there myself, going from Grand from Greenbush, if I drove from Greenbush all the way to there. It take me less than it take me less than a day to get there if I not stop. If I, if I could get there by myself, it'd be take me about approximately 17 hours and 25 minutes. So it ain't really that far away from here, uh, from where I am to where the Shaytards are. But it's it's funny because then I googled their their address because I found their address online, and they actually went to Google Maps and they actually showed where their their old house was and then where their uh, where their parents live, where Shay Carl's parents live. And so I was just like, man, that's pretty, I did not know, well, I, I seen somebody, somebody make a video about that or whatever, they showed on uh, you know, Google Maps, and they found it somehow, and then on the, on the, it has uh, Shay's uh, granite truck or whatever, you know, granite business, the number right on there, so you could call, I might think about calling that number, just because I'm kind of, I mean, 
you know, okay, you can call me a little bit of a stalker, but no, I'm not really a stalker. I just, I was just curious about this, and I want to see if this is all true or whatever. So, I went and did a little research online, and that number is still active. That's on the, uh, that's on the thing on his truck or whatever. So, what I want to do, it, you know, what, what I would like to do, and this could maybe help my channel out a little bit, uh, is maybe possibly do an interview with, with Shay. Because I know he has Skype, but it would be nice to do an interview with him, possibly anyway, uh, if I give him a call uh, from his granite truck business. Because I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure the phone's still available because he still has the, you know, still has the box and everything for it. So, yeah, I guess we'll just have to see. I'll let you guys know when I, when I do that. So I'll let you know what happens or whatever. Because all they can do is say, hey, we're not interested, you know. But at least I can say. I'm, actually had a chance to talk to him anyway. And of course then they probably asked, how'd you get our number? So oh, I found it. <laughs> it's not hard to find people's numbers. Heck, heck people can find, if they go to Google Maps or whatever, they can find out where, I'm, where I live right now. You know, it's not hard, you know, it's not hard. So yeah, you type in Greenbush, Minnesota and you go to Google Maps or whatever, you can see the whole, you can see a map and you can actually have pictures of the whole town where I live so in case you guys are ever interested in looking where I actually live you'll see my house it's a yellow house <laughs> I ain't worried I don't care people you know the people around here know know me pretty good so I'm not worried about any internet person trying to stalk me I mean if they want to come stalk me you know they know where I they, they can come see me we'll hang out we'll be all right <laughs> anyway I think that's all I'm gonna do for today's video uh, like I said, this weekend I will answer Scotty's challenge, and also uh, answer the challenge, but also uh, do my review on the movie Dreamscape as well. So, anyway, and oh by the way, I hope you guys enjoy those cartoons. Uh, that was just something that I found, you know, a go animate. I might do that here and there, just just for the fun of it. Uh, maybe even make my own cartoon, maybe eventually. So that was just all for fun. So, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you guys next time.